Pasaporte, pasaporte. Ah, pasaporte. ¿Cuántos años tienes? A mí. Ajá. Uh, 31. Estaba bonito, ¿no? Es bonito. ¿A dónde vas? Uh, tu pizza. Listo. Ok, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Ok, I think that's it. Gracias, chao. There we go. We've made it into Bolivia. Woo! Yes. So we're just heading out of town, and uh, it took us straight to this unpaved road, which apparently is the only way to Uyuni. No, look, this isn't a road. I think we're supposed to be up there. <laughs> it's only our first day in Bolivia, we're already getting lost. Hola, buenas. Hola, buenas. El litro de gasolina para las placas internacionales con factura es a 9.44 y sin factura es a 6 bolivianos el litro. So she's saying that it's actually 6 bolivianos per liter yeah. if you don't want a receipt. Yeah. What, what, what's this price then? Well, I guess that's the local. Okay, so the <laughs> locals get a half price yeah. fuel and we don't. Okay. Is this in uh, old Bolivia like this? Do you know? Old Bolivia. Are you oh. coming? Yeah. 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 Sure, we don't go less than half a tank without filling up because a lot of places won't give you any gasoline. They won't give us. They'll see your form plates and they'll say Bienvenidos a Bolivia Cemeterio des Trains. The train cemetery. Look at this. This is absolutely crazy. It's like something from Mad Max. That's absolutely insane. Wow, look at them. Just train car after train car after train car. Just totally left here. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look at this, I'm on top of the train. Wow, that is so cool. Look at this road, what is this? Oh. It's like an off-road obstacle course. Yeah. Oh my God. We just went into this pool of water and it's like a huge, huge ditch. We couldn't even see it, but it's a huge ditch. And then the whole bike just went Whoa, off to the side. Oh man. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Hola. Uh, tres, dos, uno. Perfecto. Muchas gracias. Oh my god, we are right out in front of the salt flats now. Look at this! <laughs> wow. Wow. What a place. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh okay. no, look at this. Yeah, there is no chance that we can ride in that. Look, this is at least, at least that deep. And we can't navigate through that. No way. I think we have to put this on our bucket list. <laughs> to come back, eh? And ride on it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be riding on it today. But anyway, let's take off our boots. Yes. And we can at least walk in it, can't we? Uh, definitely.
That is salty, hey? Wow! <laughs> nice! Look at this! I kind of want to have a salty bath in here. I think you could probably lie down in it if you wanted to. Let's walk to this island. Yes, Salt Island. Yeah. Cool. You're on a Salt Island. Nice. Cool. Look at these bikes. Kawasaki versus Bridges bike, Kiva's bike. And they're over there. Oh, that's really nice. She got me one too. You have to go to the lady at the end if you want the deal on mamas. Okay, okay. The lava this deal. This was lava 10 deal. and these were five. She's quested out into the salt lines to bring us this flavoring, this beautiful flavoring for our chips. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because originally Lavi said, oh, do you have any salt to this lady here? And it's like, we're in like the largest salt flight in the world. <laughs> we're in the largest salt flight in the world. Yeah. Ten, ten billion tons of it. So anyway, Hi. we've got chips with Uyuni salt. Nice. Sunset over the lake, hey? Cool. Okay, so after some chips, we've decided that we're actually going to stay right here. So we're actually going to be just making a bit of a wall against the wind because there's actually a storm over there in the distance so we're just hoping that that doesn't come this way and also hoping that it doesn't make the salt flat the salt lakes more flooded and the water coming over here Hello. we're quite close to the edge but let's hope for the best super crazy at the moment so on the salt flats where we wanted to camp the water is coming actually up and now we had to move our tents away so we found like a little bit of an island here where we just set up our tents now and now we have just to move the bikes over that they are not floating away tomorrow Camp try number two Hopefully the storm will calm down a little bit Good morning guys It's 5.30am and um, loads of trucks just arrived with loads of people to come and see the sunrise so looks like it's time for us to pack up then packing up before the sunrise eh? coffee time are we ready for this <laughs> oh yeah so basically all three of us are going to try riding out there bridge is going to go first kiva's going to go second we'll go third lavi's going to be flying the drone it may be a complete mess. We might all fall over or it might go really well. We'll find out. Okay, are we ready to take on Salori Uni? Yes. Yes, let's do it. This might be really cool. This might be a disaster. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. We're in. Oh, okay. It's maybe a little bit strange actually. Oh, okay. Definitely really strange, really okay. strange. Whoa, it's so much deeper than I imagined. Whoa, yeah, we're really sinking in. Whoa. Okay. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't realize that we would sink in so much. Yeah, me neither. Wow. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. I'm not... We were super close to falling off there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. Very stressful. That's crazy. Oh. And guess what, guys? We just hit 18,000 miles on the road.
A much more appropriate transport to head out on the lakes, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need this kind of clearance. Oh, I'm not sure these boards are that safe. Medicinal water that's good for like um, hurt, hurting body parts. <laughs> oh, we should put your leg in there. Hotel del Sal. This is basically an entire hotel made of salt. All of these are salt bricks. So this place was built in 1995, but it's not actually open as a hotel anymore. But we can still go inside. Whoa, look at this. Salt chairs, salt <laughs> table. I love salt. So there we are, leaving the Uni Salt Flats. Goodbye beautiful Salt Flats! It was absolutely amazing! <laughs> bye bye girls! Bye bye! <laughs> so that's Bridget and Kiva heading south and this is our road heading north. <laughs> yeah, onwards to La Paz, hey! Woo! Let's uh, go! In front of us is an absolute sea of buildings and I think that this is the beginning of the outskirts of La Paz. Wow, it's a mad place. There's a forklift on the highway. <laughs> oh, yeah, you see really funny things here, actually. Yeah, but the thing for me is just that there are too many of these, of these minibuses. I mean, the streets are just full of them. Like, that's like 90% of the traffic is these minibuses. Crazy place, absolutely crazy place. Oh man. Yeah, this doesn't bode very well because we're still 14 miles out of the center. Jesus. So this is a two lane highway, but the people have decided that they're just gonna operate it as a three lane highway. So now we've got just three lanes of traffic moving together. It's insane. It's a busy place. <laughs> it's such a busy place. Oh, I love it. I love it and I hate it at the same time. Wow, we are so high up and the city is just in this valley here. Oh my God. Yeah, and it takes up like the whole valley as well. Like the buildings are just going all the way up the, the hills. Man, it's mental here. Absolutely mental. I don't have words for that, seriously. Wow. A sea of ho houses. A sea of houses. Yeah, and everything made out of the same like red brick, red cinder block that we see all over Bolivia. But the entire city is made of it. Wow. Wow. I mean, there's just, there's no more space here. <laughs> there's no more space. <laughs> I'm fascinated. I'm absolutely fascinated. Yeah, we've never I've never seen a city like it. Wow, look at this building in front. Yeah. Crazy, man. It's crazy how the center is like so different to the outskirts. The center is like all historic and these beautiful buildings. And then you can just see on, on the hills, just this like concrete block. I don't know why this car parked here, but this car decided to park here. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Up. Well, this church up ahead is really nice, actually. Yeah, it is really nice. Okay. Wow, really beautiful here, though. <laughs> beautiful and crazy at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. 
que ella no está puesta para el amor. Yeah, yeah. Pero eso cambiará cuando ella me vea, acá. Porque lo sepas. Porque ella me ha cupido a pedirle un favor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Esperando tu dinero. Pa' que invites una ronda más. Pa' que su labio me desea. Y se repita lo que. We're out of the city! Woo -woo! We've just passed the payage barrier heading out and into the mountains and look how clear the roads are! Beautiful! Oh, it's like a dream! Yeah, it is a dream! And you have already massive and epic mountain views! So first we're heading to a town called Koryoko and that is actually where the start of the death road is. Oh no, we've just come over the pass and it's raining on the other side. Oh, it's incredibly wet over here. This is terrible. It is actually terrible, yeah. And we can't see anything. Oh man. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get to this town and see how, how the weather is down there because this looks absolutely terrible yeah. conditions to take on the death roads. Yeah. I mean, it was so sunny and nice on the other side, and that's why we were like, oh, it's a great day, let's go, let's go, let's do it. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know anymore. <laughs> so this is the start of the death road. So this is where you would start if you're heading from the top, heading downhill, but the weather up at this top section does not look very good. So, still not 100% sure what to do. Levi's trying to ask these guys over here if, uh, if the weather will get better. <laughs> Today is not possible because the, the road is closed. Oh, the road is closed? There is the landscape. So you can't, you can't get to the bottom? Today huh? is not possible. Today is not possible. Yeah. Thank you so much for letting us you know. You can come back for the new road? Yes. It's possible. To Korioko. Yeah. Ah. When did the landslide happen? Approximately just two days ago. Okay, thank you. Thank Gracias. You so thank you. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> cool. Nice. It's like these guys are saying, congratulations, you didn't take the death road and kill yourself. Hola. Whoa! It's a puma! It's a puma! Yes! He said that this area here, Hola. puma. Hola! Hola, buenas! Hola, ¿cómo estás? <laughs> Muy bien! Oli, Oli, mucho gusto, mucho gusto! Robert, Robert! 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 Ah, Patricia! Ah, mucho gusto! <laughs> Looks like we found ourselves a room for the night! Oh, you're a kitty little one, aren't you? Hello! Hello! Yes, you are! Hello! I love the little dogs here in Bolivia. They're just so cute and small, aren't they? Yes, they are! But we've got a crazy mission for today. So, let me show you guys where we're trying to get to. So, normally our plan was to go from La Paz and cross the border to Peru, very close here at Lake Titicaca and head up to Puno. But, due to the ongoing political protests in Peru, all borders between Bolivia and Peru are actually closed at the moment. So our new plan is to cross the border from Peru to Chile here, head back down through the Atacama Desert again, and cross the border from Chile to Peru here at Arica. So that means today we have two border crossings to do from where we are now, crossing the border here, all the way down to the coast, and then crossing the second border here at Arica to finish the day in Tacna. Our wonderful host Patricia is going to write Bolivia on our box.
just stopped here for a second to take in the view. Look at this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Amazing, hey, look at this volcano. Nevada Sayama. Nevada Sayama. Beautiful. Come on guys, clear the road, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've arrived at our Bolivian border town called Tambo Queimado, over 4,200 meters above sea level. And man, my head is a little bit spinning to be honest. Yeah, always the altitude, hey, it's getting you. Yeah. Okay, all done. We've got our temporary import permit for Chile. All, everything done, passport stamped. We're ready to go. Welcome back to Chile. <laughs> nice. Look at this. Bolivia this way, Chile this way. <laughs> yes. We made it. Woo! Wow. I think this is like the most beautiful and the highest as well border crossing we had so far. I mean, look at this beautiful volcanoes. That is absolutely epic, hey? So this volcano is called Parinacota, Volcan Parinacota. And just look at the way the snow is on it. It's absolutely it's such a beautiful volcano. And then like this huge, huge rock field around it. Look at this, crazy stuff, hey? <sighs> Welcome to Chile. I don't know if you can see on camera, but here in the middle of the desert is like a little oasis. It's totally green, look. Today is just a crazy, crazy day. I mean, the amount of landscapes we've seen in just one ride in 152 miles is just absolutely insane. I think I have to cry, really. It's so incredibly beautiful here. Oh my God. So we've been sitting here for about half an hour now and uh, nothing is moving at all. People are like out of their cars and stuff and the border is like, it must be like a kilometer up ahead. The last thing we wanted to be doing is sitting here in the dark. Okay, so after talking to a couple of the other cars and people, they basically all said, just skip the line. You're only a motorbike, just do it. So I think we're gonna do it. Okay, I think that's about as far as we can get. I mean, we skipped like f hours of a queue, hours. So I think now we must be pretty close. All the buildings are right here. So, all right, let's stick with it. <laughs> Welcome to Peru! <laughs> yeah. What a nice feeling! Yes! I think we're nearly here. Oh, there's one more thing to do. Hold on, what is this? Oh no! There's always one control final. Control oh, final. I think you need to go get the document from the back. Yeah, oh, no. it's that thing. <laughs> Okay, now we're officially in. Yes! <laughs> Welcome to Peru! Oh my god, we did it! Two borders in one day! Yes! Oh, crazy! What a journey! What a journey! Oh no, did I just um, squish my foot through that? Yeah, you did. 
today. Yeah. No, I just put my foot in dog poo. It's your fault. <laughs> Wasn't there like a saying that it means luck? Good I luck? No, I'm just going to rub my foot against this ground now just to see if I can get some of it off. <laughs> it's a good start to the day, eh? Rub your foot in dog poo. Yes. Wow, we are really, really out in the sandy desert now. Look at this. There is just sand sweeping across the road. And we've got a huge wind coming in from the coast. Yeah, so super crazy. Eh? This literally feels like we're back in the Sahara, hey? Yeah, totally. I mean, I thought like we get a nice, quiet, relaxed ride, but it's super windy and super crazy. No, I had no idea the Peru was such a desert. Wow. That's insane. Oh, muchas gracias. Perfecto. Inglaterra, eh, eh, Alemania, Al yeah. Eh, yeah. Sí, todo Perú, eh, todo América del Sur. Allá. Yeah. Gracias. Yeah, gracias, gracias. Muchas gracias. gracias. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Chao, chao. chao. The nicest petrol station attendant in the world, or what? He was so cute. Wow, nice. Oh my God, we were so close fall off at like 50 miles an hour like the bike completely slid i think there's petrol or some sort of oil on the road here yeah look look, look. wow look. wow that nearly killed us that's insane it's super super slippery it's really crazy though because we can see loads of evidence of the protests that were happening earlier this year where basically just like in brazil when we were there all the roads were being blocked and tires were being set on fire yeah you can see here on the right side the dark black this is like the remainings of the burnt tires and you can and see look at this on the road here wow like it's completely broken the road yeah and here as well black everywhere crazy Coffee uh, from Peru? Peru. Ooh. Peru, si. Sí. Oh, gracias, gracias. Oh, perfecto. Gracias, gracias. Oh, perfecto. Awesome. Gracias, gracias. Awesome. Gracias, gracias. Thanks so much. Perfect. We managed to find something vegetarian. Yes. Wow. A motorcycle around the world. It's uh, Instagram, YouTube, todo. Yeah, ahí lo pego. Lo pego. Yes. Yeah, gracias. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. I can hear a festival going on. No, they've gone a different street. <laughs> we have to find them. I can hear them. I can hear them. They're around here. Whoa, here we go. Wow. Hello. Whoa. I think we're getting pretty much to the biggest part of the canyon here. I won't go too too far. <laughs> wow, that is a massive view. Absolutely incredible.
Oh, that goes down a fair way, hey. Oh my goodness. At 4,160 meters, Colca Canyon is actually the second deepest canyon in the world. Don't ask me what the deepest is, they didn't mention it. <laughs> Apparently, at this lookout right here, the valley floor is 1,200 meters away. 1,200 meters away. That is crazy. I do think this is a condor. Oh, that is an Andean condor. Nice. this town is so nice this your place my grandma your grandma's ah. place the hotel is my uncle your uncle ah. <laughs> okay so all in the family yeah uh -huh. yeah cool very cool and you like it here i love i love oh, yeah. Kondi. yeah you can breathe you can yeah, breathe yeah breathe. Okay. Perfect. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Awesome. Look at the head, hey? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, and the host from the hotel just told us that every single town has a different hat. <laughs> so much style. So whilst we were flying the drone here, this super cute little girl comes up to us and she shows us this little fruit and she says it's a cactus fruit. I guess it's from the cactuses all along these hills. And she says, we make juice from the cactuses. Do you want a juice? Yeah. <laughs> we said, of course we'll have a juice. Hola, buenas. <laughs> oh, amazing. Well, let me see this. Oh, bonita! Oh. Que bonita! Acá está la trucha. Ah, la trucha? Ah, the trucha, the trout. The trucha, uh -huh. the, trucha uh, the real. Yeah. La estrella. 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 Uh -huh. uh -huh. The star. Oh, El condo? Sí. Oh. Uh -huh. Some cactus juice for you? Oh, yes. Tastes like a smoothie. Almost like an apple smoothie, no? Uh -huh. Cheers. Hola. Hola. Buenas. <laughs> it looks like it's sheep moving morning this morning <laughs> in the mountains. <laughs> Everybody seems to be on their way with their sheep somewhere. I want to have a sheep herd. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and then beautiful little donkeys. Good oh. morning guys. Hello. How good are you morning. doing? Another roadblock in the mountains. <laughs> Hola. Hola. There's like a festival going on in town as well. I think it's the same festival since yesterday. Oh yeah. We, look they're all parading down the street here. <laughs> oh no is there another troop behind us? Yeah maybe we have to start moving. <laughs> Awesome. This road seems to be going up and up and up. Where are we going? <laughs> no idea. Oh, man. I wonder how it will look on the other side. Oh yeah. Just stopping for a lunch break at the side of the road and it looks pretty dark up ahead. This is where we came from, blue skies. And this is where we're going, gray skies. And look, 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 there's a woman and a whole bunch of llamas. A herder and her llamas, how nice. We just noticed something quite weird as well. 
we've got something dripping from the bike some like oil or something and it looks like that it's coming from maybe here on the suspension in the middle looks a little bit wet inside there just at the bottom of the suspension no idea what that means actually if that's something we have to you know get somebody to look at or not hmm. no idea mm. love to see how that progresses oh my god that looks scary as hell yeah we see lightning strikes as well here so it really doesn't actually look very nice at all no anyway let's hope for the best hey we're just pausing here for a minute or maybe for a little bit because we just want to see what's happening in front of us see whether maybe the storm is going that way our road is going that way which at the moment is like directly through the center of that area over there and uh you never know maybe in like 20 minutes half an hour it's moved that way and then we can whew. okay we've waited a little bit but it does not seem to be getting better and if anything it's coming towards us so i think if we've got to take it on we better do it now hey yeah just close your eyes and go through pray we don't get struck by lightning yeah i can see i think our road is up there ahead oh, oh no but look it looks like it's covered in snow what do you think is it even worth continuing i don't know i really really don't know i mean it doesn't look nice at all it looks absolutely terrible yeah i don't know <sighs> hard to tell which road is our road you know yeah <sighs> Jesus okay we're right in the thick of it now you can see the white from all the hail and snow which is hitting the hills around us the temperature has gone down to five degrees now which is ridiculous uh, no, because it was like 20 degrees before yeah no idea what's going on here but yeah this is an absolutely miserable ride at the moment yeah the problem is as well i don't even know where we want to get to you know i mean we routed ourselves to the car park where the rainbow mountain is but this is still like 150 miles away so we are just like a little bit blind riding at the moment hoping just... that the weather changes hopefully the sunshine is coming soon either sunshine or paved road oh yeah please one of these things one of those two things at some point soon thank you yeah. <laughs> thank you this is just ridiculous now i literally cannot feel my fingers anymore yeah i'm bloody freezing as well oh man can't I, believe I think it. we must be at like four thousand four and a half thousand meters i guess uh, yeah at least it's got to keep going yeah hope for the best there's no point in stopping now no oh. It's, is it like quite quite soft here? I don't know, it's just a lot of puddles, there's a lot of potholes, there's a lot of rain, and it's absolutely terrible. I think there's like slushiness from the from the heck from all the hail. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just it's just really a bad road. Really bad. Oh my god. It's oh, just not getting better. Nope. It's getting worse. Okay, in six miles we'll join up with the next road and see if that road's any better. We've reached a paved road. Oh my God. Oh man. <sighs> that was so hard work. Yeah. The place should come up on the right. Okay. Maybe just here. Just here. Well, the storm is coming, I think. It's getting really bad weather. We have to, like, get inside pretty soon. Oh. Okay. Okay. Whoa, it's hail. Look at this. All right, let's get this stuff.
Muchas gracias, chao. There we go. Wow. We're inside, wow. but like 10 minutes too late. Now we are soaking wet again. Oh yeah. my God. Soaking wet. Oh. A room. Yes, we've made it inside a room. Yes, absolutely. <sighs> We're going to Rainbow Mountain, a destination we were waiting for a long, long time. Yeah. <laughs> I just sure hope that we're on the right road. Yeah, me too. Because <laughs> we haven't seen a single sign saying, yeah, this way, this way. No, we're just like following this little, this little red track. Looks like we're starting to climb. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> I still hope that we took the right road. <laughs> oh, me too. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. But so far, we haven't really seen any other cars. If this is a tourist destination, I mean, this is not a very popular one. <laughs> oh, getting a little bit butterflies. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Did I mention I don't really like heights too much? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'm staying on this side. Yeah. Please, please don't be a truck coming. Wow. Whoa, look at this. Epic. Oh my goodness. Woo. That's crazy. Oh my god, look at this cliff. Be careful, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It is a um, kind of hairy ride. Like, <laughs> it's nice and pleasant, but sometimes a little bit challenging. Yeah, some pretty big cliff drops. Yeah. And we're going through some pretty big gorges on the way, but man it is spectacular though spectacular. yeah spectacular so i overlander says that this road is actually a new road to get to a higher parking which is a little bit closer to rainbow mountain so this is the road we're going to try and take we're just deciding if we're going to continue up because i mean this track looks a little bit dodgy it's uh pretty gravelly and look at the drop over here some comments said this was a pretty gnarly road to get up to the parking, so I don't know. It's a difficult one because I really, really wanted to see it, but I didn't really know how hard it is to get there. A little bit more dodgy than I would like. Okay, we've decided we're at least going to try and get up to the parking. Yeah. So let's continue, shall we? Yeah. I'm going to stay on the inside and we'll see how we get on. Yeah just going nice and easy nice and slow yeah and i'm not looking on the edge <laughs> <laughs> no very good very good yes Whoa. yes okay very good <laughs> <laughs> you know i think if we can just get to the car park we can say we've done as much as we can right <laughs> at least with bumblebee that's as far as we can go Okay, let's go round, 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 round. Second switch back. Very oh, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, landslides, I think. Yeah. I mean, look at this bit. Jesus yeah. Christ. Jesus Christ. Whoa, okay. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. Oh. Yeah. So I think this is the top. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Rainbow Mountain! Hello! <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's have a little look around and see if we can find someone. So the guy has told us that there's no one around and um, I guess they don't have the keys to the ATVs. So I guess this is as far as we can get because the weather is not good enough for us to start like a two hour hike up there. So. No, no, we are really bad prepared. And I can see over there the rain is coming already. Oh my God, yeah, it is on the other side of that valley. But we had a cool idea. We are gonna try and fly the drone from here and see if we can at least fly the drone to the Rainbow Mountain. So let's give it a go. <laughs> It looks like something here. Yeah, I can start to see something. <laughs>
Look, look, look. There's Rainbow Mountain. And... And there we are down there. Rainbow Mountain there. We are there. Very close. Close enough. <laughs> We're here in the ancient capital of Peru, the city of Cusco. And we've been here for the past five days, catching up with our editing, which is totally caught up now, which is yes. awesome. But also, whilst we were here, we had the chance to visit the amazing Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu! Woo! <laughs> wow! This was some of a kind roadblock, eh? Wow, yeah, that's a major roadblock right there. Wow. Jesus. This is also a reason that we can't go very fast. Whoa! Ho ho ho! Jesus. incredible here the road is actually following a river at the moment and it's just stunning down here we're actually just about to go under the cliff <laughs> wow look at this river wow i think it was like a landslide or something as well yeah i'm not sure it's totally safe here <laughs> seriously these rocks look like they're about oh to fall oh my god this one. oh my god <laughs> That is not structurally sound the cow, but more importantly, 19,999.9. We just reached 20,000 miles on the road. Woo! Oh my God. <laughs> Can you believe it? That's crazy. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? Mm. This is a giant rock in the middle of the road. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Look at this right here. What is going on? What is going on here? Wow. We have to be super careful going around the corners because you never know if both lanes are going to be free when you get round. Yeah, look at this here. Wow. Those are some big boulders on the road. Look at that. Yeah. Crazy. So they have a room for us, but uh, we have one issue, and that is that the parking that they've offered is down some steps, and the bike won't make it down these steps. So. So they've brought out this little wooden ramp that we're going to try and try and wheel it down. <laughs> oh my God, this could go really badly. But anyway, I'm going to try to get this lined up with. doesn't look too great, to be honest. <laughs> Let me try to get this lined up like this. Okay, what do you think? Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Should we try and do a little bit? We'll do the first bit. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah. Okay, ready? I'm gonna just try to push it a bit. Okay, hold on, wait. I'm gonna do the clutch. Okay, hold, hold. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna do clutch control. Okay. Is that gonna go over there? Yeah. Am I not on? No, the back tire probably won't. Okay. Yeah? Is that better? Okay, yeah. Is the back tire on? Okay. Yeah, back tire's on? Good. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what we do tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, let's try to get it perfectly lined up if we can. Do you think like that? <laughs> okay.
Ya. Oh ya. Yeah. How's that back wheel? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah! Hey! <laughs> Woo! Yes! Good job! Muchas gracias, muchas gracias! Thank you! Awesome! So many stones here on the road, really! Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Wow, look at this one. Wow! These are some seriously big boulders here. Crazy. Wow. Yeah, and I think this is all man-made as well. Like, I think they purposely brought the stones off from the cliff. Yeah, how did they do that? Wow. I have no idea. Yeah, we have to be quite quite careful here on this road. Wow, I'm super ex I'm super surprised by the extent of these of these landslides, of these man-made landslides. It's like a slalom parkour now here. Huh. Wow, what is going on here? It's Seriously. crazy, man. Look at this. Oh my god, crazy. Yeah, some people really, really, really just wanted to destroy this road. Yeah. Completely, completely. Look at that! Wow! Oh my god, that's so dangerous actually. Wow, look! I mean, whew, look at the trucks. They have to go like right and left. Yeah, it's like a truck slalom. Oh my god, the poor truck drivers. Wow. Absolutely wow. Hello. Hello, Lama. Oh god, how cute! Here's a little belt on his neck! I mean, look at them, hey? They really look out of this world. They look so cute! <laughs> <laughs> it is so cute and peaceful. Look like, like, at the way they pop up their heads and they're like, what? <laughs> oh man. Have a great day! <laughs> Bye, guys! Oh wow, this uh, tractor here is clearing one of the roadblocks. It's the first time I've seen anybody actually trying to clear them. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, he's got quite a lot of work to do though, hey? Yeah, definitely. Oh my he goodness. has a lot of work to do. Wow. That looks really bad here. Basically, there are two ways to see the Nazca lines. You can either climb the observation tower where you can see a couple of the lines or you can take a little plane because they have a little airport here in Nazca. Uh, how big is the plane? How many people? It's six passengers. Six passengers. Can you show me what we will see? Check this one. So here is the route. 18 people. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 more Paredones Ruin aqueducts a mountain the sun. Wow. So we so we'll see 18 figures. 18 figures. Wow, that's incredible. More, more. Three, three places more. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have any last words? I asked the guy how many crashes they'd had and he was like, recently? <laughs> No, I think he said they like had four or five or so. But he said that was when they had one pilot. But he said now they've got two pilots. Oh yeah, one pilot had a heart attack. Yeah. Oh my lord. Shouldn't don't ask, hey? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's cozy. Gracias, bien. Only uh... just trying to get a shot. <laughs>
I can see a glyph from here. Yes! I don't think the GoPro will pick it up, but there is definitely something on that hill over there. What is that? I don't know. Oh, it's a whale. It's the whale. Yeah, it's a whale, I think. No? Or is it the cat? It's the cat. It is, is it? the cat, it's yes. The cat. Incredible. Nice. Crazy that like 2,000 years ago, they were like, let's draw a giant picture of a cat. I'm hot. Hot. I'm so incredibly hot. <sighs> yeah, we're going to change from the coats now to our armor because it's just unbearable otherwise. So what? can you believe that this is just outside of the town of Ica? The craziest sand dunes ever. And there's like oasis in the middle. So I think we've arrived, right? Yeah, it looks like it. This is it. This is Huacachina. Yeah, welcome. Okay, so the road has turned into sand. So I'm going to go on my own. All right. Now we're talking. Okay, it looks like it's not that far ahead. Let me see. It's just so busy here, I can't believe it. Yeah. Wow. It's not even the busy season. No. Desert Nights Hospitality and Restaurant, there it is. Oh my god. I'm gonna. <gasps> oh god. That was it's really okay. Close. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. It's quite a sunny place, yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so. let's stop here and see how we get on. decided that we are going to hike the dune for sunrise because you're only here once. How are you doing? Yes, you can do it all the way to the top. Yes. Wow, look at that. There's a long way down. There it is. The tiny oasis of Huacachina. Down below. Wow, this is so the best ever. Look at that. Wow. We walked up to the biggest sand dune here around and the view is stunning. <laughs> 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 I just got some fruits for us, so this is a dragon fruit. I don't know the local name, but let's check it out how it looks from inside. Oh, wow. Oh my god, look at that. The nicest colors in the world. That's really bright. Yeah. How is it? Mm -hmm. Delicious. It's very mild. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it's not like packed with flavor. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's mild. But... It's packed with colors, but not with flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this truck, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! He is holding a lot of 
I think it's like dead corn. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, there's another one ahead actually. Yeah. yeah, they really were like, let's put really as much as we possibly can on this truck. Wow! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we just entered this town and we just saw tons and tons of mango farms and we were like, if we see a mango seller, we have to stop and get some fresh mangoes. And here we go. You come straight into the into the town, and you're just mango straight away. <laughs> nice. Hola, uno, eh. Okay, this one. And which color shall I pick? Red. Okay, red one. Okay. Okay, dos. Gracias. Okay, gracias. <laughs> ¿Cuánto cosa? Un sol. Okay, gracias. Wow. So that whole bag cost us one sol, which is about 20 cents. Crazy. That's insane. So yeah, but it's really funny because on I Overlander, I read that this might be a love hotel or a love hostel where we're trying to sleep tonight. So it will be quite interesting to see what a love hotel looks like. <laughs> <laughs> We'll give it a go, eh? Yes, let's give it a go. Las Dunas. Okay, let's see what's going on here. I will knock on the door. Okie dokie. Cool. Nice. What a nice lab hotel. <laughs> Wow, so every single room has like a, its own covered parking. It's not bad. Okay, what does the Love Hotel look like? Come on, show me. At first, no light. Okay. Then... Whoa, what is that? I don't know. Oh my goodness. I don't know. <laughs> it's like absolutely boiling hot around here. It's like, oh yeah, let's take a warm bath. It's literally 32 degrees. Has this, got, has this got plastic underneath? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, well that's probably better then, isn't it? Look, and it's got like three beds, us plus a guest. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> TV, um, towels. Perfecto. How was your night in the Love Hotel? I would say it was pretty lovely. <laughs> I actually had to blow up our camping pillows, these ones here, because um, the pillows from the hotel, they're actually like plastic. Mm. and they're not very comfortable <laughs> and everything's a little bit slidey <laughs> yes so yep this is how it looks the love hotel <laughs> it's like maybe in the tramp hey yeah. <laughs> oh got some funky horns going on today <laughs> 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 England! <laughs> oh my god! Here is something going on at the moment. We'll I don't to be know. Be a bit careful about these condition of these roads. Yeah. Wow! It's like completely, whew, completely closed up here. Hey, at the moment. Why? Oh my god! Like the whole road is like just blocked. Uh, hmm, let me have a look. Yeah, I don't see what else I can do at the moment. Nothing. We have to just wait. One eternity later. It's going now. Oh yeah, it's absolutely mental at the moment. Wow. Oh look, there's a guy directing the traffic. Ah, okay. Yeah, he's doing a really good job. There's no traffic now that he's there. Oh man. Careful here. Holy crap, look at that head. Can't believe it. Just can't believe it. Woohoohoo! <laughs> Bouncing around. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's going on? There's no tarmac anymore. What happened to the tarmac? <laughs> Why did they give up oh, on that? Man, the craziness just started, hey?
Man, they're nearly crashing into us. <laughs> oh, um, it's five o'clock now and we can't really see uh, any rooms in this area. We had a little look around this area and we can't really find anything. Uh, so we've had a look on iOverlander and apparently there are some wild camps to be found at least. Yeah, they mentioned on iOverlander that you can take one of these tracks here to the um, to the towers here. All right, let's try this track and see how it looks. Okay. I think there's a path along the electricity lines. As well, yeah. So perhaps we can actually go a little bit further along. Maybe this way, should yeah. we try? Yeah, okay. Let's have a look and see the quality of it, but let me see. Oh, oh, okay. That looks a little bit deep, hey? Oh yeah. Up. Yep, I think it is uh, probably too deep. Okay. <laughs> it started to become sandy quite quickly. Okay, I will jump off. I thought it would be a little bit less sandy, but okay. So we're gonna have to, I have to turn it around. Okay, ready, go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're facing the right direction now. We're nearly there. Look, I can get back in a minute. Ready, three, two, one, go. Am I? Okay, I think we should both push then. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Three, two, one, go! <laughs> no, no, we're actually stuck. I didn't realize it would get so deep so quickly. Crazy, hey? Hmm, okay. I don't know if I can... <laughs> okay, yeah, that works. Hold on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Three, two, one, go. Oh, stalled it, hold on. But we were on our way, ready, go. Yep. Okay. Woo. Okay, we're out. <laughs> we did like this. Stupid little loop. Here is just too windy, sandy, it's too close to the road and we can't really get away from this pylon here uh, because everywhere we go is too sandy. So uh, we've seen that there's a town, a small town about 40 miles down the road and we have just enough sunlight, I think, to be able to reach there before it gets dark. So basically, we're going to hope that there's something in that little town. We're just going to have to ask around when we get there and see if we can find a place, hey? Yeah. One hospitality here. Okay. Did you... Let me ring the bell here. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a big sign. It does say hospitality right here. Ah. Hola, hola, buenas. Yeah. <laughs> Very heavy. Mucho peso. Mucho peso, yeah. Yeah. Yes, we found a place. Yes. I'm so happy. Awesome. Oh my god, are you gonna do it? Nice. Nice. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, beautiful. We are getting closer and closer to Ecuador, so let me show you guys the route for today. So we have now made it all the way up to here, and the border to Ecuador is here. So today we are going to be heading up through Piura and Sulana, and then actually the road doesn't exist on this map, but after Poeshos, there is a road that heads up to Zapotillo and there we will cross the border to Ecuador. Should we wait for the for the truck to go first? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. Then we see how Just deep see it is. How deep it is, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go on that side. It looks less deep. Let me see for him. 
Oh my god. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. It just looks no. like we might get a little bit wet. Okay. So just uh, we just have to keep our legs up in the air. <laughs> there you go. That was deep. <laughs> Another 30 miles to go, I think, and then we'll be at the border. Oh no, maybe I have to get off. No, I think it's okay. We'll just follow this little stream. It's, it's okay. Holy. My God! Wow! <gasps> the stream. It's another one. Yeah, and people really stopped here. Look, the truck is like smashed into something. I think the truck is stuck. Uh, okay. Oh, no. There's the motocross guy. Maybe let's ask him if it's like okay to go like to Ecuador. It's okay, Ecuador. Yes, yes. Is Ecuador okay? A little water. A little uh, water. Little water. Yeah. Yes. You think to Ecuador? Fine. Quiet. Careful, yeah? Slowly. Careful, slowly. slowly. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, stay on one side, not on the... Yeah, which one? In the middle, I think, probably, hey? Yeah. Because, look, I think it's muddy. This is the problem. Look. Uh oh oh uh oh How is it? It's okay, but I'm it's just okay? going to have to... Yeah, but I have to... It's like, it's basically a mud puddle. Oh, Okay, stop here, stop here, stop here. I will jump off. No, no, I think it's okay. No? I'm just going to okay. walk it. Oh, man. Oh, my God. It's so thick with mud. Oh, my. Oh, my lordy lord. Oh. Heart attack. Heart attack. Oh. Yeah, you can jump off if you like. Okay, let me just see where I can get up here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Gracias. Okay, one sec. Yep. <sighs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh no, look at this truck. Oh no. Oh. <sighs> wow. Yeah, he's fallen into this little storm oh, drain. In the ditch, yeah. Yeah, he's totally fallen in. Look, now there's everybody out with their shovels. Oh no. Oh man. Okay, be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hola. Good job. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy man. It's sliding. <laughs> My feet are so wet. <laughs> no. Oh, actually, they're cleaned off a little bit now. <laughs> oh, man. Really, I didn't expect that at all. I thought maybe, okay, one, two, three, five. But I think this is number 10 or number 15. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to have to go back now. Our friend from Mexico is here. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> yes. Have a beautiful trip, my friend. Thank you. Uh, yeah. We will put ourselves right next to him. Yes. <laughs> Javier and Lavinoli <laughs> together at the border to Ecuador. <laughs> nice. We managed to get my passport stamped into Ecuador, but then apparently the internet is gone or something. So now we're just waiting for Lavi's passport back. But, um, I don't know how long it's going to take and also the customs window is just here and um, there's no one here and then I asked these fellas over there and they said uh, oh, 20 minutes 20 minutes so I think someone is going to come 
And in the meantime, we got naked because it's <laughs> super, super hot. <laughs> Yes! Two hours later, we got it! <laughs> oh, muchas gracias! Thank you! <laughs> gracias! 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 Finally, four hours after we've arrived at the border, we are finally making our way into Ecuador! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh no, it's already starting to rain! Oh no! We're just trying to quickly get our stuff on. It just came, it just hit us! Okay. Riding into the rain, let's go. Oh man. Welcome to Ecuador! Ay, ay, ay. Holy crap. Oh my god, there's like a river running across the road. Wow, there's a lot of water around. Oh my goodness. Whoa! We literally started this morning in the desert and now we're in the middle of the rainforest. And it's raining. What are these horses doing on the road? Guys, it's absolutely not the place to stand. Jesus. Oh my god. So yeah, 40 miles down the road is our accommodation that we're going to aim for. But yeah, we really have to see how this road is. Oh my lord. This is getting some serious flooding now. Okay, this has got from bad to worse here. Look at this. This is absolutely ridiculous now. It's just a river for a road. Look at this. I'm not even joking. Oh my goodness. Look at these drains. Go in there, yeah? Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Okay, yep. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Oh. oh my god. I'm so happy that we are somewhere. We're just watching the news and apparently Guayaquil is underwater and this is our destination for today. We don't understand too much because everything is in Spanish but the pictures look like that. Wow! Oh no! It's like completely underwater. I can just see the word. Lluvia, which means rain and torrent, which is like torrent. Oh <laughs> shit! Oh no, it's probably where our hotel is. Whew. <laughs> yeah, now I've got to get the brakes on because there is some serious, serious hill here. Oh my hell. Oh my hill. Oh my hill. <laughs> wow. It's like, it was the steepest. It's oh. like nearly 90 degrees, man. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but after seeing all the flooding yesterday, you can understand why they build the town on top of the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh my god, look, this has probably just happened yesterday. And there's a team of people out here, literally with shovels. Gracias. Gracias. So I just took the audio cable out of the GoPro, but the end snapped off. So. I think the end is still inside the media box. So that's not really very good. We stopped on the side. 
side of the road because we can see some coconuts behind us. I'm gonna go and see if we've got enough cash to get some. Just gracias. Yeah. Uh, oh, perfecto, gracias. Yes, coconut, goodness. Bienvenido a Ecuador, mis hermanos moto viajero. Gracias. <laughs> so Maximilian just arrived and look what bike he has. This is Suzuki 1050. What? No way, look at this. Wow. This is the first time that we have seen even another V-Storm of any kind in South America. And this is like exactly our V-Strom. So yesterday when we met that V-Strom owner, he actually pointed out something about Bumblebee that was really concerning. And that is that the disc brake here is completely gone. This was the disc brake that we got in Rio. So that was a long way away. That was like 14,000 miles ago. It's completely just metal to metal. Possibly we may have damaged the disc, uh, but that's something we're going to have to see today because we're about to take Bumblebee over to a Suzuki garage here in Guayaquil and um, they're going to have a look at it for us. Have a look, this is what the, the disc brakes look like at the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no much, <mucho>, no? <laughs> oh my god. Less what we had before, hey? And it's really hot as well. That's a little bit scary, okay. So we have to check them more often. We have found some brake pads, and these are Suzuki genuine pads. So have a look at the difference. Wow, the new one and the old one that's crazy. You life for Bumblebee. Check that out. Our bash plate is totally bent, totally bent from all the speed bumps. <laughs> It's been pretty successful here in Guayaquil. We've got new brake pads, we've got new oil, new filter. The Garmin is up and running again. Our GoPro is working again, so we're ready to hit the road tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, it's just wonderful to have a nice breakfast together, isn't it, Lavi? 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 Oh my God, guys, I was just outside for one minute without a top. Oh no. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you have quite a few bites already. Jesus. It's so itchy! Oh no, and two down there as well. God, they really want to eat you alive here. There's so many mosquitoes here. Holy moly! The uh, water is really on the road here. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at this. Wow. It's like literally just lakes straight on the side of the road. And these are normally fields as well. Look at that. Crazy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? The fella's saying to go to the side. Okay. Wait, stop here. Hey. Huh? Then, what? I think he said like it's a lagoon or something, didn't he? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So he's saying that there's too much water. The guy who just came past yeah. the other way just yeah, said yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Okay. I think we'll go with these fellas on the bikes. I think it's a, just a big lagoon here, and it's just completely overflowed. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Okay, so can I sit on it? Um, uh, 1050. 1050. Sí. Well, here we go. We're on our way. Look at this. So Lavi's in the cab. Whoa, that's crazy. Look at this. Oh my goodness! 
Woo. There's people swimming here on the road. <laughs> Look, this car is, uh, is it still moving? Oh my God. No, no, he's out. He's out. Oh my God. What is going on here? This is ridiculous. The motorcycle would have been completely submerged here. We would have floated away down the river. Okay, you got me? Okay, ready? <laughs> okay. Wow, that was like the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. Seriously. It, it was like being on a boat, but in a car. That's ridiculous. And there's a river running down the road here as well. starting to climb up now we've come off the main road and we're taking this little road which is a bit of a cut through in the mountains we've just made it above the clouds and now we are in the mountain jungle baby i think this is the steepest road we have ever driven it's super crazy wow hopefully it doesn't get any colder There's one road, there's one road. So we are nearly at 14,000 feet. It's really high altitude here. I think it's about 4,000 meters. So the volcano is somewhere over there, but it's so cloudy, it's so rainy, we can't see anything. <laughs> right now we gotta get back on this bike and we are gonna find our way to somewhere warm and cozy. Look at my fingers. I'm so cold. Ah. Oh. I just feel really sick because we went so high up and it's so cold. We went from sea level to like 4,000 meters in a couple of hours. We're both feeling pretty dizzy and wet and cold. We're gonna try and find accommodation as soon as we can. Hopefully within half an hour, we'll be in a nice cozy room. Oh my goodness. This is how wet my socks were for like the last six hours. Sunshine just for us. Oh, this is beautiful. It gives us a chance to dry out our gloves. I, I don't think our boots are gonna dry out. I think we would need to go back to the Atacama to dry out our <laughs> boots. <gasps> to the driest place on earth. Exactly, that's probably the only way my socks are gonna get dry. Yeah, but hopefully my trousers will dry out a little bit because they are wet as well. Yeah, Ecuador has blessed us with a little bit of sunshine as a way to say sorry for the entire day of riding in the rain yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> The place where we're heading today, Puyo, is also basically right on the edge of the Amazon rainforest. So that's so cool that on this trip we're going to be able to basically get to the edge because when you see on the map, you see the Puyo, basically after Puyo, when you head further inland, there's no more roads. That's it. If you want to go further inland, you have to like take a plane or a boat because that is literally the start of the Amazon basin. Ecuador seems like a really, really beautiful country. Mountains, volcanoes, forests, incredible. Yeah, when it's not raining, I love it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my God. Wow, look at this. Nice. What a crazy road. Whee! 
Jesus! Wow, what a stunning area. lovely lady behind us has just come and given us some ice creams. Wow. From this place. From this place. Look at these. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 Oh my goodness. Okay. I guess we'll carry on our tour, shall we? Is he eating my hat? He's eating your hat, yes. Is he? I just hope that he's not getting your hat. Stop eating my hat. <laughs> well down, so we'll just clean up as well. Yeah, here you have a lot of... Uh... So you're visiting Ecuador? He's so naughty. Oh. <laughs> Look at me. He's the fucking mic, he loves it. <laughs> Hey, you get off my mic. Oh, no. These microphones are very hard to get. You know? Oh, he's like got a boa constrictor grip on my neck though. Wanna do a selfie together? Can we? Oh! <laughs> he really wants your mic, sweetheart. Oh my lord. <laughs> It's just an incredible place here. It's directly on a river as well. And it's just a really beautiful, like a really nice jungle walk. Amazon jungle vibes right now. Wow, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this river. Oh my God. What's that? Ah, maybe this is Cot Cotopachi. Maybe it is. Yeah, because Cotopachi is right next to it now, I think. It's like spewing out stuff at the top. <laughs> it's like an active volcano over there. Wow. Oh, wow, look, there's an alpaca right here. Oh, oh didn't he? Hola. <laughs> Hola. Como estas? Ah, the, this mask. Wow. Oh, wow, lovely. Look at this. There's so many masks. Oh, wow. wow. Qué linda, beautiful alpaca. Wow. Este es madera, miren. Qué arba. Pino. Pino. Oh, pine. Uh -huh. Mask tr tradicional. Tradicional. Estos son las fiestas típicas del pueblo indígena en mes de junio en Tirreimi. Se les desplaza de ayahuma, de tigre, de lobo, de payaso, de perro, de todos los animales cóndores. Está en peligro de extinción, pero por lo menos tenemos en el arte. Beautiful, hey? Really, really beautiful. Wow, we are really right on the edge of this crater, hey? I didn't realize that we were like right next to it. That's insane. Wow. Wow, what an incredible place, hey? Yeah, and look at the green color of the water as well. Yeah, incredible view. There you go, this is one volcano that we can see today. Yes! It's not shrouded in fog and clouds and rain. Impressive. Impressive. Really impressive.
I'm absolutely loving this road at the moment. It's just winding its way through little villages and it's really giving us a, a good look at like the Ecuadorian rural mountain life. We can just see people herding their sheep and pigs around and all these little houses nestled in the hills. Yeah, it's just so interesting as well how people living here and everyone seems so like content and they're always smiling and waving and it seems like a really nice chilled life here actually. Got a bit of a landslide in front, so I think we can just about take on the edge of this bit. Let's have a look. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna switch over to this side. Yeah. You're a monster now, my love, eh? <laughs> we didn't ask for any drinks, but they brought these over. I think it's like pineapple. Music. <laughs> They're playing from a record. Oh, holy moly, look at this street. Wow, it looks like we really are coming into like the old center. Holy moly, there's some a lot of a lot of crazy climbs. <laughs> I was just about to go into my keto information and then I was like, oh gotta concentrate on what's ever happening here. Wow, cool, beautiful. Wow, beautiful. Look at this church. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's a crazy church over there. Oh my God. Look at that, how big that is. Yeah. Wow. It's a massive cathedral. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Holy moly! Gracias. You are pro, eh? Yo tenía una 650, una Suzuki DR650. Ah, ah, sí. Kawasaki KLR y una XT, Yamaha XT660. Okay. So we are here in the capital, and today we're going to be heading on this road through Cayambe up through Ibarra and up to the border of Colombia, which is just past El Angel, somewhere around here. The reason for us going to cross the border today is because we have a plan to cross the Darien Gap. Now, there are basically two ways to cross the Darien Gap. You can either ship the bike with a container or you can fly the bike. Now. You know what happened the last time we put Bumblebee in a container. It took three months before we could see her again. It was a nightmare, cost a fortune, so we are not doing that again. Yeah, we are still traumatized from this experience. Absolutely. <laughs> so that leaves us with flying the bike. Now, luckily, there is an awesome company called Cargo Rider, and they will fly your bike from Bogota in Colombia to Panama City. Literally, you drop off the bike, a couple of days later, it's ready to collect. It's like super easy, super straightforward. Forward. but this is the reason we have a bit of a time constraint because basically they only accept bikes on Thursday morning every week and then those bikes will be flown on the Saturday of that same week so basically unless we want to wait a whole nother week we need to reach Bogota by Thursday morning so our mission is including today to have five rides to reach Bogota that'll get us to Bogota on Tuesday night and then Wednesday we get our tire changed fingers crossed if we manage to get that organized <laughs> and then Thursday morning Bumblebee is ready to be shipped and we will be heading over to Panama <laughs> I just realized as well that we will cross the equator today, my love. No way. Yeah, must be, no? No, you're totally right. Yeah. Actually, we might need to look that up. Yeah. We should be passing the equator like really, really soon. Yeah, 0.3 miles, we will reach the middle of the world. I'm ready for it. Dun, 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 Oh, here we go, look. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Linea Equinocial Equator. 
this way. Yeah, there's a big sign here. Bienvenidos la mitad del mundo. All right, yeah, let's go over to the sign. Welcome, Welcome to, to the equator. equator. Woo! <laughs> Different hemispheres joined by us. Yeah, this is some kind of goosebumps place. When the guide is explaining everything about the sun, it's just like magical. Magical. Look at that! There we go. Gracias por visitar la República del Ecuador. Oh, do we have to do something here, my love? What do you mean? L look, migrations there. Or do we have to do something just here on this side? So, we went, apparently, the guy said that we went straight past uh, migration for Ecuador and we should have actually stamped ourselves out and given back our temporary import permit for Ecuador here. <sighs> All right, customs is done. We've got our temporary import permit. I think that's it. I think we're good to go, eh? Yeah, let's just see if they stop us. Yeah. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Perfect. Nobody stopped us. We are through. Welcome to Colombia. <laughs> Ah, uh, amazing! Bumblebee gets a deluxe place tonight, a very nice room, which looks almost like the flat from the owners here. I feel a little bit bad, because I think Bumblebee's a little bit dirty, but... Muchas <laughs> gracias! This is the owner, and the hotel looks really cool. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias, gracias. Muchas gracias. We are here in the square in the center of Ipales. There's this is really massive cool church behind us as well. We made it to Colombia. We are here. Mission accomplished. You really, really wouldn't believe it because actually, uh, even though we are really in rush, we have to uh, stop for a day because our pizza yesterday. I think we've gone a little overboard. <laughs> wasn't apparently very good or something was in the air i don't know because little ollie got food poisoning again Boo. so it's pretty much just in bed the whole day just try to eat a little bit yeah because now we only have three days actually to reach bogota to get bumblebee on the plane and it's a long way and a lot of hours let's hope for the best that we are ready to hit the road tomorrow oh. Oh my god, look at these dressed up llamas! Oh my god! Wow! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Whoa, beautiful! Beautiful! Okay. okay. Yeah. Can you yeah, uh, ruta aquí? Y aquí. So the police officer here is just telling us that there's been a landslide so our route to Cali is blocked. Okay. 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 So a este punto. Mi hablo español no bueno. Okay. So so like uh, we go this way. O sea, ustedes iban por acá. Okay. Yep. Y van a salir aquí. Lo so, mismo es por este lado. O sea, okay. Le aquí en el mismo punto. Y eso es Bogotá. Okay. 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 Se dan la vuelta aquí. Okay. 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 Gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. So we didn't fully understand what he was trying to say, but effectively there's a landslide, and that means that we have to take a different route. This one. Yeah. I guess this is one upside of having to do a detour is we can explore these beautiful little mountain towns and get stuck in mountain traffic. Look at this beautiful church as well. Is it a V-Strom? It is a V-Strom. 
Hola. Buenas, buenas. Feast drum. Yes. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> ¿Es pan? No. no. Dulce de pata. De Dul dulce de pata. De pata. <laughs> Whoa. I, I really don't know. What is it like? It's like dough. It's like, um, what is that? So it, it is dough. It's like a sweet dough. I really don't know what that is. There's something going on here because there's a huge, huge line of trucks. But I don't know what it's about. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> okay, so there are still cars coming. I wasn't sure. Yeah, what's going on here? People have really stopped here. Why? I just hope that it's nothing to do with a landslide or something like that. Oh no, we can't deal with another landslide. Please. This is really crazy actually, this is massive. Yeah. I have no idea what this is about. I have no idea. Huh? Okay. Yeah? Okay. That looks really tight. Do you think I can get through? Yeah? Should I, should I try? Okay, and what about the bags? Do There's zero chance. Okay. Okay, push me back. I am stuck on here a little bit. Okay. Wait a second. <laughs> okay, okay. It's okay? Ruta? Ruta is okay? Yeah. Okay, we'll start off like this and we'll see how we get on. Let's see what I can do here. Can you just tell me if I've got enough clearance? Oh, yeah, but here, look at this. Okay, mirror's being pushed down a little bit, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's try and go a bit further. What is going on? I don't know. Okay. Hola. Hola. Okay. Hola. Oh. Oh, he's going down. Oh, okay. Okay. It's good. Down there, yeah? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that biker just sort of did like this to say, uh -huh. let's go. Okay. This is like a temporary B road. Oh my god, yeah, he just pointed over there and like the whole um, mountain was gone. Oh, Look there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was not too easy. Wow, yeah, no car can come here. If you look over there, you can basically just see that there's been a huge landslide somewhere in that region. I just asked one of the construction guys and he said it was a Camino Provisional. 
like a temporary road. Crazy stuff. Anyway, at least we managed to make it through. Quanto tiempo estas esperando? Un dia? Más de un dia. Un dia. Más. Dos días. Dos días. Wow. Wow. Loco. Loco. Es esperando nuevo camino. No. Ah, gracias. Chao. Crazy stuff. Hola. Hello. Oh, how's it going? Hello. Uh, hello. hello. <laughs> How are you? How's it going? Uh, hello. ¿Cómo estás? Hello. Uh, buenas, buenas. Buenas, buenas. Hello. 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 <laughs> hello. Inglaterra, Alemania. Oh, sí. yeah. And you're from Colombia? Manchester. Manchester. Colombia, Colombia. These guys are telling us that they are the like the only V-Stroms in Colombia. It's like the V-Strom club. We just happen to like ride next to them. That's so cool. So in front of us here is a crazy, crazy long sugarcane train. Look at this. One carriage, two carriages, three carriages. Whoa. Man, it's just endless amount of sugar cane here endless amounts of sugar cane <laughs> literally in all directions as far as the eye can see it's just the fields of sugar cane incredible oh we've got a tractor one two three four five <laughs> holy moly <laughs> holy sugar cane we have made it within seven hours of Bogota. We have completed our mission for today. Woo! Celebrating with some wafers. Yes. So we've got another strange thing happening with the bike. And I'm not sure if this is related to the suspension or not. But basically uh, what's happening now is that when I'm sort of leaning into a corner, we've got this sort of wobble going on on the front, uh, on the handlebars. So I don't know if I can really show you, but when I get to like here, look at that. It's like the whole bike is sort of being like, woo, woo, woo. And I think it must be related to the suspension being like really soft. So we're having a little look to try and figure this out, why it's going a bit weird. And uh, I thought maybe the front wheel wasn't aligned, but it really looks like it is aligned. But then we came through to the back and look what we found, boom. That would explain why we've got a bit of a wobble going on because we have lost tire pressure in the rear wheel. It's definitely getting lower and lower by the second. Any chance we thought we had of uh, making it, you know, to Bogota before doing something about this is, is, is over now. No, we're going to have to deal with this now today. So there's a town coming up in 30 minutes called Armenia. It's a funny name for a town. Uh, in Armenia, there's a bike shop which is still open, open till six. So we're going to ride over to there and see what they can do about it. All right, so we're getting into town now. We are now two miles away from the bike mechanic, but there's like tons of speed bumps in this town. And it's really, really nerve wracking because I don't want the whole bike hitting the rim of the wheel but our tire is getting flatter and flatter by the minute. Yeah, we can really feel the wobble now. It's like, I don't think there's any air left actually. No, it feels super weird. Yeah. This bike is bouncing around now a lot and it's pretty wobbly on the back. Kind of feels like we're uh, riding on sand. If the tire gets too low and the bike hits that rim, if all the bike weight lands on the rim of the wheel there, then that, that rear wheel is going to be toast. Then it's game over. So we've tried a couple of mechanics. We tried to call one just now, but everyone is closed today because of the public holiday. So for now, we will just try to find a place to stay for tonight. And then tomorrow morning, we will call up some garages and ride around and see if we can fix the tire because the tire is 
dead. <laughs> you have a lot of tires. <laughs> but not the one that you're looking for. Oh uh, no, really. This corner, the other one. Okay. Or the three, okay? Yeah. That's the other one. Or okay, maybe, okay, yep. Maybe the other one, the yellow and black. Oh, centro. Um, yes. Yeah, okay. Centro. And the other one is multi -yantas. Oh, I see. Uh, Yantas. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. These tires in ah. uh, Carusi. Okay. For yeah. our rear tires. It's a yeah. It's a fifty-fifty or seventy. Uh, this is fifty-fifty. Perfect. Cool. Metzler, Metzler Caru Street. For one hundred seventeen dollars. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. He got out the nail from the tire. Look how big that is. Oh, that was what was inside. Look at that. There's mucho peso. Todo tempo. <laughs> Todo. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Perfecto. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you so much. Buena suerte tu camino. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Wow. They look amazing. Look at the tread. Nice. Nice yeah. deep tread. Cool. There's two ways from here over to Bogota. You can either stay on this road, which is the Ruta 40, and that winds its way up and over the mountains, or you can take the longest tunnel in the Americas. So of course, we're gonna take this tunnel because that's crazy. It's 8.6 kilometers long. Incredible. <laughs> Some kind of ride so far, wow. And after so many days on the road in a row, my butt is really sore. But it's really crazy to think about that this is actually our last ride in South America. On one side, I'm really sad, but on the other side, I'm really happy as well. South America was a long way. Yeah. I mean, we were only at 7,000 miles when we arrived in uh, Brazil, right? In Rio. And now we're at 22 and a half, nearly 23,000 miles. Ahead of a ride, hey? It's been a long way. One more leg to go. Okay, we're definitely getting closer to Bogota now because, <laughs> oh man, it's getting a little bit busy, let's say. We hit some really serious traffic here, definitely. <laughs> oh my God, they're nearly getting squeezed in between two buses. Oh, oh my. my Lord. Oh my Lordy Lord. Okay. Yeah, let's go down here. Yes. This is the moto lane. Woo. And the bicycle lane. <laughs> So it's just one mile to go. Wow. Whew. Just seven more minutes apparently. <laughs> it's a tough last mile, hey? Yeah, you know, I'm just like, come on, let's get Bumblebee there in one piece. We've survived so much. What oh, look at dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that dog is too big for that bike. Oh, oh my Lord. Gracias. Okay? Okay, gracias. 
<laughs> we have a really, really exciting day today because we are going to drop Bumblebee off at the airport. Oh, yes. Woo! South America is over. We got Bumblebee cleaned up. Look at this, look. So, so clean. Yes, yes. We did get a chance to see at least some of Bogota yesterday. After we cleaned Bumblebee, we uh, had a chance to go out into the city. And visited the Gold Museum. I can tell you, there was a lot of gold there. <laughs> cool. Cargo Rider is getting a Lavioli sticker. Yes, yes, yes. Boom. Beautiful. Right next to Colonel S from El Salvador, Joe Siegel from Washington State, USA. On the board of legends. Cool. Cool. Terminal de carga. <laughs> yeah. This has got to be the cutest little sniffer dog ever. <laughs> ah, yeah, see? Okay. Here we go. All finished. This stuff. Is staying with us, and the rest of it staying with Bumblebee. Panama. So Veronica was really nice and she dropped us off here at the airport and we wanted to check directly at the airline if we can hop on a flight here at six o'clock but she told us no way there is no flight for today for you like everything is booked out so now we're sitting here <laughs> eating our burger from yesterday and we yeah we're a little bit lost but it's okay we just booked our flight for tomorrow 11 a.m which is quite nice and from now we just have to check like if here are maybe some places around where we can stay and, and sleep for the night and then we have to return back tomorrow but everything is done with bumblebee and i'm super super happy and relieved the cargo rider guys they are just amazing and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time Oh, we will see you next time in Panama. <laughs> Panama, here we come. This has got to be the cutest little sniffer dog ever, 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 anywhere, everywhere. What? Ever. And uh, we've given them the... Uh, what have we given them? <laughs>